I'm at the house on Indian Trail in Powder Springs. It's actually right off of 92, heading from Hiram to Douglasville. It's not that far. Um, it's in a cul-de-sac lot. So it's really nice. It's at the end of Indian Trail. It has a nice long driveway, plus this side part to the driveway for extra parking. And the neighbor's houses are really far apart. From the outside, it looks good. I mean, there's a few things I see, like the strip at the top of the garage door, the wood around the garage door, which those are typical things. But the siding itself looks to be in good shape. The gutters need to be cleaned out. There's a little water right here, but I think that's because that drain back there has come loose and is not coming out where it's supposed to be. Um, here's the front yard. It's kind of a pie shape, and then you can see the house next door. The steps up to the front porch are in good shape. This house is offered by Jar House, which I've heard some mixed reviews of um, as far as the houses they buy and flip. But as you can see, the front porch is in really good shape, and so is underneath all of the eaves and the gutters. And it's a big front porch. The power's not on which they also frequently do have the utilities turned off. Um, this is a big open concept room, so it's perfect for y'all because it has this big living room area over here with the big wall for a TV. And then the eating kitchen area is right here. And then the kitchen's opened up. It already has granite countertops and white cabinets. The cabinets look to be in decent shape. They have not been painted. They're like real white cabinets. It has a new stove, dishwasher, microwave. So, and then it's great to have this L-shaped counter where they can sit at the counter. Um, they're accepting cash offers only. Jar House usually does that. They also have this new flooring in here. I don't know why they do that. Um, I'll go down there later. Um, sometimes I think it's because the house might have problems passing an inspection. This is the first secondary bedroom. It's a nice size, actually. A little bigger than what we've been seeing. Step-in closet. The carpet looks to be in really good shape, actually. And then across the hall is the other bedroom. It's about the same size. It has a little bit different closet. Again, the carpet's in good shape. The walls have been painted. There are new fire alarms everywhere throughout the house. Here's the hall bathroom. Oh, there's no power. So it's going to be hard to show you some of the darker rooms, but it looks good. It has a different countertop. They didn't put granite in here, but it has the white cabinets, and it is a nice countertop. And I'll come in here with the flashlight in a minute and check everything out and make sure it's not um, broken or anything. Here is the master it's almost the full width of the house, like the master suite, so it's a really nice size. Easily fit a big bed in here. Here's the walk-in closet. Not big, but not tiny either. And then here's the bathroom. It is kind of small and just has a regular tub, toilet. This is the same countertop that's in that other bathroom, so you can see what it looks like with the white cabinets. They have all the windows open, so it's freezing cold in here, especially without power. I know my memory's gonna run out. I hate going in basements by myself. Oh, it's dark. So I've gotta figure out how to get my flashlight to work while I'm videoing before I go in the basement by myself. So I'm going to go ahead and go out back first. The deck is supposed to be new. 
I can see the railings look much newer than the bottom, but the wood's just now getting to that point to where you could paint it or stain it. And the back of the house, the siding looks really good. Um, it just needs, the gutters need to be cleaned out pretty badly. I'll check out the AC, but this is a really big yard.